Thank <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Alex. <clears throat> oh man, I was getting. Uh, I, 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 one of the things I like about how you play, and especially when you're playing with, uh, with Boykin, is I'm, I get like, non-musical sounds, and I say that, in a, in a very sort of like, meaning world music, world, uh, environmental sounds. You know, like being able to take something that's, you know, an instrument or whatever, even our bodies that are sort of like created for a human being and making noises that I would not hear normally coming from the instrument or from a person. And it just makes me think like, did someone create something new? Did something, 
did uh, the universe just create a new animal or something like that? Well, it's interesting yeah. because, you know, you off, I mean, not, not simply with doing weird extended technique stuff, but any kind of playing, straight ahead playing or other types of things that one does, you have that feeling a lot of the time, then you inevitably find some recording or some lead and you find that a lot of stuff has been done before. Some stuff you can actually account for in terms of influence and sometimes some, you know, it's several sort of uh, relationships removed, but where, you know, that stuff has been before. So often the question is, you know, is it, who's it new for? Is it new for a particular audience member? Is it new for you, even though it was out there in the universe and you just didn't necessarily know about it yet and then you discover it? Um, and then, you know, then the, another question is whether that's important or not, whether it's, you know, whether the newness or the novelty of it, um, of a particular sound or technique or thing that you do with your body, um, yeah. you know, as opposed to just sort of the fact that what you're trying to convey or do, even if you don't have a specific idea in mind. Um, but that, that's, that's really common. It's like, you think, oh, I've, I've happened upon something and then you discover it's been done several times quite a while ago. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, yeah, I guess it's how the, uh, you hear something and you sort of process it and, and you go, okay, this is the time to bring out this trick feeling like you made up the trick, but really you're, uh, well, you're, I mean, we're all being influenced all the time. Um, I also believe in when you're in the moment in the zone, whatever it is that you're picking things out of the ether in a very literal way, like something for, that's beyond yourself sort of introduces itself to you right and kind of says make this your own um meaning it like it didn't originate from you in that sense and that okay there you go time when you're playing i mean certainly a lot of the time when you're playing with other people and people have remarked upon this a lot of the times when you sort of feel elevated there's a certain kind of elevation where like you're not sure who's making which sound and it just sort of seems to be in the room and you're not sure if it's coming from you or from somebody else but that can happen in in solo playing as well um yeah where it's, sometimes it's i mean this seems sort of a I guess, obvious way to say it, but like you just do certain things with your body sometimes to just try it out because you feel like that's what your body needs to do um, as opposed to say a specific musical or sort of thematic impetus and then you end up with something and then you either roll with it or abandon it, you know, all the choices that sort of people have to make either more or less consciously or self-consciously or in the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... That's sort of like an amazing thing, isn't it? It's just a little bit being like being a conduit, but also your your person has to be prepared to receive that information, you know? Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, free improvisation, uh, mentioning David Boykin, I mean, start, you know, when I came to, I came to Chicago to go to school and then I discovered the jam session uh, that David Boykin, Nicole Mitchell, Carl Siegfried and Mike Reed were running as the sort of house band of a free improvisation jam session. Um, and, you know, I had sort of begun to think about and sort of have an inclination of some, of, you know, the kind of thing that I wanted to do and move towards. And then that was, I was just fortuitous that that's what I got to sort of first dip my feet in, um, because the music was so great and they were so, everyone in that group was so sort of accepting and, um, and open. I met a lot of, you know, lifelong, now lifelong friends and, um, and important, you know, players and people who I think are important, including people in the group. Um, for me just to sort of wrap it up because I know we're at time is, you know, that's become sort of important to me that, that everything else I work on in the sort of another model for Chicago, obviously the ACM and the art ensemble, this idea that, you know, it's not simply weird music or extended technique or whatever else you can sort of find, like that stuff is interesting, but it's part of the palette and that for whatever you're interested in doing, you know, you study the music that you're interested in straight ahead, jazz, rock, whatever it happens to be. And then you try to synthesize it in you know, and free playing for me sort of becomes the form in which those things can, you know, come to bear um, or come out. Um, so, like for me, as a sort of practical matter, free improvisation is important. Is an important sort of glue that holds all the, my other musical interests together. No, oh, yeah, that's uh, it's a safe environment. You know, or it's not safe. I mean, or that's it's, the thing. Or not safe. it's an open. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a platform. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an environment. Yeah, it's an environment. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for uh, just being part of my silly little series, man. And uh, I look forward to hearing you and and seeing you out there, man. And uh, just I'm I'm just glad you're doing what you're doing, man. Thank you. You too, Louis. This has been this has been really great. Thanks so much. I appreciate it, Alex. Thank you.